Uh, Elazar? Yeah, it just came up, yeah. Uh, eight o'clock tomorrow morning, okay for you? Good, 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 okay. good. Good. Amrav Nachman Amrav. Halachik Rav Yehuda, that we eat chametz in the fourth hour. We suspend chametz in the fifth hour. That means we don't eat, we don't burn. And we burn it in the sixth hour. Remember, Rav Meir said you can eat it uh, in the fifth hour. So Rav says that Allah is like Rav Yehuda. Armale Rav Rav Nachman, the name of Mar Halacha Rav Meir. Why didn't he say that Allah is like Meir? And why should he have said that? This Sosam Lon Tanakavose. Because there's a Stam Mishnah, an anonymous unnamed Mishnah, which seems to Paskin like Rav Meir. It's not. Call Shoshim Lechol. Any. During the period of time that you're allowed to eat, machil, you're allowed to feed to your animals, which lachor would be like Rav Meir, that you can eat the whole fifth hour. So the one says, "I love stamahu." That's not a stam mishnah. Mishum the kasha mutter. What does it say? Mutter leechol. This is in Perak Shah. Parent kosher on the next parent. It's mutter's mashma. Rashi says kosher shem mutter adam achel leechol machil ze ha'aser leechol. You could feed other people even though it's aser. So the word mutter is problematic. Therefore, we can't pass him like that mission. So the name of Maralach is Rabbi Gamliel. Now Rabbi Gamliel is going to have a third opinion, which we're going to learn in kosher that says during the fifth hour, Kohanim can eat truma, but we cannot eat chametz. So that Mishnah says the same thing. Why don't we pass it like Rabbi Gamliel? Amr lay, Rabbi Gamliel lav machriya. He's not a compromise between Rabbi Yud and Rabbi Meir. It's his own opinion. Tam denafshe ka'omar. The boy same if you want, I'll give you another reason why Rav passes like Rabbi Yudha. Because Rav da'amar ki ha'itana. Rav follows the following time, the Tanya. Our boss, our Shechal Yosper Shabbos. When Erev Pesach falls on Shabbos. So, Mavar Nisakol Mufnei Ar Shabbos. You destroy all the Chametz, obviously, on Friday. The Sorfin, Trumos, Tmeos. You burn Truma that's Tame. You burn Truma that's Tluyos, meaning suspended Truma. That's Suffolk Tame, Truma. Where you can't eat it, but you can't burn it because maybe it's not, maybe it's not, maybe it's it, you're not allowed to burn truma tohoira and tohoirois, and you could burn truma tohoira because you have no choice, you got to get rid of chametz prior to Shabbos. You just mishayrim and at tohoira, it's mozen shtei sudas. You got to have at least two sudas Shabbos in the morning. We forgo shalashudas and you eat, you need enough food for two sudos in the morning. And here it says very clearly, not like Rav Meir, but rather like Rav Yehuda, that you only eat until the end of the fourth hour. So that's why Rav said the halacha is like Rav Yehuda. Meanwhile, the, the Mishnah goes on, so they responded to Rabbi uh, uh, Lazar, you don't burn Truma Tohoira Friday. Why? Maybe Orchim will come Shabbos morning, Kohanim, and Shabbat Yimatzah, why burn it? This is perfectly good Truma. Maybe so we can feed it to Kohanim in the morning. We're talking about a case where they checked and they, there were no other Kohanim, so they had nothing else to do except burn it. Maybe maybe they spent the night outside of the walls of the city, but within the 2000 Amist Chum, you don't know about them, but they're going to show up tomorrow. So he said, listen, 
we have to we have to draw the line somewhere. According to the way you're learning that maybe there are Kohanim sleeping outside the top, the, the walls, maybe Afluyos lo Yisarfu. Let's say we have to, a truma that's suffate. We don't know what it is. Well, maybe we shouldn't burn it either because Shema Yavo El Yov Yitare. Maybe tomorrow morning or later on that Friday, Elionov is going to show up and he will, he's Matar, it's all the Sveikas. So if you, if you, if you're, maybe Kohanim will show up, maybe Elio will show up. So that's not a Teretz. Hashem promised us he's not going to send Elio Novi Fridays and Erev Yontem. We're too busy. And we've got to greet Elio Novi properly. So, so, so we don't have to worry about uh, Elio Novi. So they posked like like Rabbi Laza Laza, that you can only eat until the fourth hour, which is like Rabbi Yehuda, and that's why Rav Paskins like Rabbi Yehuda. <laughs> because what? My lava filo le echol? So there's no raya from that Mishnah. It does, we thought it meant that means you could eat. Amar Rav Papa, Mishra, Rav, Lola Vayar. That they agree that you're allowed to burn chametz prior to Shabbos, even the trumas tohoyrois. But regarding to what hour they can eat, they don't necessarily agree. However, says the Gemara, Af Rebbe served Allah to Rav Nachman. Rebbe also held like Rav Nachman that the Allah is like Rabbi Yehuda, that we can only eat chametz the fourth hour. By the fifth hour, we can't eat chametz anymore. Person left a big bag of chametz by some guy Yochanan. And the, the, the mice made a hole in this bag. And the chametz was. Uh, was was leaking out. Ubolif ne Rabbi and it was air of Pesach. And they said, Well, what should we do? He's gonna lose all his money. Maybe he should sell it quickly. So Sure, we should armor the hante. No, wait. Maybe the the owner will come, right? Because somebody deposited the chametz with a shoimer. So the shoimer asked, "What should he do?" So Rabbi told him, "Don't do anything because maybe the owner will come back." Shni armor the hante. Shli shes armor the hante. Revi is armor the hante. Because those periods of time you're allowed to eat chametz. Chamish is armor lo tseu mochro b'shul. He told me to go out and sell it. It's still mutter banna in the fifth hour. So sell it so you can at least save this, save the guy some of his value. It must be my lavlo nochrim. And who is he supposed to sell it to? To goyim. Because Jews can't eat it. That seems to be a raya kirab Yehuda. On Rav Yosef, low, right, low. We're talking about Yisrael, Rav Meir. He could still sell it in the fifth hour. There's still, Rameer allows people to eat chametz in the fifth hour. Maybe there's some Jews who need chametz to eat in the fifth hour. Armly Abaya. So Eli Yisrael, Nishkalei Lenafshe. What do you mean? Let him buy it on behalf of, remember, some guy deposited chametz with him and went to China. So let the Shomer buy it. And then, you know, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll be reimbursed when the guy comes back from China. That the Gemara says, no, we're not allowed to do that. Mishum chshada. You're a shomer. You're not allowed to get involved because we're going to be choshed that you did a good deal for yourself. Where do we see this? The Tanya. Gaboy tzdok, ashen lehem aniyim lechalik. 
the gaboim who collect stocka, and let's say they have money, and there's no aniyim to give out, and they need to change the money because they only have big money; they need small money. Portin lacherim vein portin latzman. They go to other people to change the money. Not they don't change it themselves, because people are going to be choshed them that somehow they they got better coins. Same thing by Gabay Tamchui. This was like uh, uh, what do you call we, in LA? We have the uh, not Beaker Chotom Cheshabbos that gives out food. Gabay Tamchui Sheilam Aniim Lachale, and they got tons of food. There's no aniyim to give out. What should I do with the food? They can't buy the food. They have to sell it to other people. You can't have any shemets of, of fraud. You've got to be naki. You've got to be clean. Say The reason why Rav Nachman Paskin like Halachic Rav Yuda because he said he testified that uh, that they were told go and sell it to Goyim in the fifth hour. Mashma that Yisraelim cannot eat it. Well, who's the who's the Tana that holds that Yisraelim cannot eat chametz in the fifth hour? That's Rav Yuda. Am Rav Yosef. Who does the following sugi go like? It's not. I'm going to China. I go leave my fruit with Harold. Now, let's say they're rotting. The Tanakhama says the Shomer is not allowed to touch them, even if he sees them going bad. You're allowed to sell it. Otherwise, the guy's going to lose his... It's like returning a lost object to the owner. But you got to do it in Bezdin. That way, Bezdin keeps you honest. So the Gemara wants to say, this is like the sheet of Rishim Gamliel. Oh, that there's a certain acceptable depreciation rate of an item. Everybody holds you sell it. And that's not just Robert and Leo. Everybody would hold that you, you're not going to stand by and let the guy lose his whole asset. Here as well, the chametz is going away. If you don't sell the chametz in the in that period of time, it's <laughs> so therefore, the more that says before, the when he tells him to wait one hour, wait a two hours, he should sell it right away because every hour that he waits, even though he can sell it in the fifth hour, obviously he's going to get a lot less in the fifth hour than he is in the first hour. So he should have sold. it, should have told him sell it right away. No, because, because the, owner, the owner, the owner might have come home and wants to eat it. Right, but uh, but so so what? But he's getting the chance of coming home. Then is is, is so little, and he's. The, no, no, no. I'm saying, Rebbe, Rebbe wants. You don't have a right to sell the guy's food until there's no choice. But there's but there's every every hour becomes depleted more, so he's doing the guy a favor. He becomes depleted, but he's not. Could be that he didn't want you to sell it because that's his food. He was relying on it as food. It's not just a monetary issue. I think that's I have to learn, because Rebbe Rebbe clearly said that he should wait until there was no. I mean, no I mean he has money. If he has money, can always buy food unless there's a famine. But the the the, 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 the question is whether it gets. No, that's not uh, so. Maybe, maybe in a chanami, maybe food was scarce. That's why Rebbe told him to keep on the food. Oh, that's a, okay. I mean, that's how, a, else, how else? How else? How else do you understand Rebbe? Rashi says, "Hantein shema yava v'yoichal bailav." So he's not but, concerned about the about the the, the loss. 
Okay. Okay. He gave him food to watch. You watch this food for me until I get back. So the din is you got to you got to keep it as food until he and, and, and then at the last moment when it's, he's going to lose out, then he's allowed to sell it because maybe he'll come. And as you say, maybe food was more important than money. It's not right. always so that you have money, you can't buy food. Right. Sometimes the food's not available. I don't know. That, I, that's how you have to learn. I don't see any other way to explain it. Okay. We had a signaling. The Mishnah said that you took two chalis of a of a of a korban toda that was posul. And they had a whole signal that they put two chalas. When the two chalas were out there, everybody could see you could eat chametz. They removed one chalas, there was only one chala there. That's the hour that you can't eat, but you don't burn. When they took both chalas gone, then you knew you had to burn the chametz. They learned that it was on a bench. If it's on a bench, nobody's going to see it. To me, agaga You have to put it on the on the top of the bench so people see it. The, it was like a cat. It was like a colonnade, double colonnade surrounding the harabais. It was called an istavnis, an area of benches, but it was it was roofed. And it, and and some people say it was like. That when the storekeepers that had an opening in front of the store, but it was double. Stab lift me stop. Okay. So the Mishnah said that the two chalois, the two loaves of bread were pasul. Pray to Gemara, my psulos. I mean, what do you mean? What was the psul here? Amrav Chanina, Mitoch Shayu Merubos, Nifsolos Belina. There were so many. Korban toda, we'll see why. If you don't eat the Korban toda within 24 hours, by the next morning, it's nifsal belina. The Tanya, a Korban toda is a Korban shlomim. Now, a regular Korban shlomim, you could eat for two days and one night. A Korban toda, you could only eat for 24 hours. And a korban toda had to be brought with 40 loaves of bread. 30 of them are baked matzah, and 10 of them are chametz. Well, obviously, you can't bring a korban toda during Pesach because it's not a korban toda without 10 of the 40 loaves being mat, being chametz. So, therefore, and of many Jews made aliyah regal for Pesach. They lived in Tel Aviv, they lived in Haifa, they came up to Yerushalayim and they owed a lot of korbanois. They had to bring a korban chates for an avera that they did. They had to bring a bachor that they had from their flock. They had to bring a miser. I mean, people came up with, with herds of animals to, to, to offer. Maybe the guy was sick and got healed and needed to bring a korban toda. So they were coming up anyways to offer the Korban Pesach. So they brought all these other Kabonites. So a big day for Korban Toda was the 13th day of Nisan, the day before Erev Pesach. Because Erev Pesach, you also cannot bring a Korban Toda because half of the day, you cannot eat Chametz, right? After the sixth hour of the day. So because we don't want to bring Kotshim Lebeis Sapsul, they didn't bring the Korban Toda on the 14th. So everybody brought their Korbani told on the 13th, it was so much chalas left over that people could, whatever is good, doesn't get eaten, becomes nifsal belina. And therefore got va- invalidated by being over time. You have to burn it. That's why they had these psulo sloves that they used as signaling. Afraid to Gemara, Pshita. I mean, I understand. All of this is Dover Poshu. <coughs> we're not talking about the Korbone Toda that were brought on the 13th. We're talking about the Korbone Toda that were brought on the 14th. 
Mikasovar, Aimavin Kotlum, Vesapsu. And nobody brought their Korbonois on the 14th because you don't want to, since you don't have the whole day to eat it, you can end up bringing Kotlum, Vesapsu. So therefore, Kulama, Vishlosh, Asar, Maisalu. People brought their Korbonois on the 13th. Because there were so many of them. Okay. They were not puzzle dick loaves. They were kosher loaves. If they were kosher loaves, why did you call them psulos? So they were they were designated 40 loaves. But the Corbin wasn't nishchat yet. And it's, it's, they don't become ready unless you do shchita v'shlomit. Trading more, so v'nishchat, so shechtet. So sh'ovad ha'zevach, the animal got lost. V'naisi zevach ha'cha v'nishchat, so bring another animal in its place. And shechtet, the Omar, the more says you can't do that because you said zu toda v'zu you made a special, you pointed to this animal, to these chalas, he said, these are connected to this. So if the loaves got lost, maybe lechem acher. Of the toida ain, maybe toida. I can't bring another animal. My time. Huh? Lechem glal toida. The, the bread follows the toida. Ve'en toida glal lechem. Frank, more of a v'nifkinu lechulim. Why don't we redeem it? And then it won't be possible. You don't have to burn it. They did shech the korban. However, the blood spilled. And now it got hugdash with the shechita, but you have no way of doing the zrika. So the lechem will never be able to be eaten. Keman kerebi, dama rebi. Shnei malin there are two things that normally a matir is offering, like Zrika Saddam, to allow you to eat the meat. Let's see the case, the Tanya. Kifseyat Seres, the two lambs that were brought on Shavuos. You also have to bring two loaves. Ein mekachinus alechem ele You have to shech the lambs in order to be mekadish the two loaves. And how does this work, Ketza? You shechted the kifse atzeres with the right with the right kavona, and zorav doman lishman, and you did the zrika sadam, thinking about kifse atzeres. Then kiddush alechem, the lechem becomes holy, and therefore that lechem would be could be nifsal belina. Shachton shelo lishman. Let's say the shechita was done with with that thinking. Not the right thought. The Zorak Daman Shalolishwa, Loki the Shalecha. The loaves that do not become Hugdash. Shachton Lishman, the Zorak Daman Shalolishman. As long as you have the Shrita Lishma, even though the Zrika was not the Lishma, Lechem Kodesh, Vena Kodesh, Tibi Rebbe. Rebbe says it's a little bit Kodesh and not Kodesh. You can't eat it, but it's Kodesh to be Nifsal Belina. Rabbi Yezir Rabbi Shimon Armin, no. It, there's no halfway going. So is this only Rabbi? No, I feel the Rabbi Lazarus Rabbi Shimon. Because because they did the shechita lishma correctly, it was collected in a kos, but then it got spilled. And Rabbi Lazarus Rabbi Shimon serve like kavua the Omar kol oimet lizra kizorg domi. As long as the once the blood was in a cup ready to be Nizrak, it was already Nizrak. And therefore, the Lechem would be completely miskadish with Kabbalah Saddam. But to eat it, you can't do. To Nifsa Belina, you could do. Tana, Mishra, Rabbi Lazar, Amar, Kshay, Rosayu. They were kosher, not Sulos. And Kozman, Shemun, Nachos. When you saw the two loaves there, kolam oichlin, then everybody ate. That was in the fourth hour. Nitla man, they removed one of the loaves. 
toilet. It was suspended. Loy oichlin v'loy sorfin. You don't burn it, you don't eat it. Nitlu shteyem, at the beginning of the sixth hour, they removed both loaves. Is chilukul on sorfin. Tanya b'shol loymer. Shtei parus hayu choshos bar amishlach kozman shtei choshos. Wasn't chalis. They had two cows plowing on Harazesim, Erev Pesach. When, they, when you had two cows plowing, everybody ate. When they, they removed one of the cows, they didn't eat, they didn't burn. Okay. Mirza Shem, we're going to learn tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Tomorrow, we're going to start one of the most famous Sugyas and Shas, the Sugyas of Rav Hanina Skana Koanim.